All right, uh, my name is Addie Nakhira. I'm a religious studies major from Grinnell College. Um, and I partic participated in the India Studies program in Pune, Maharashtra from last July to December. And if you don't know where Pune is, it's about four hours south of Bombay on the western coast. So uh, yesterday, during yesterday's presentations, I was looking at this book that we all got and thinking about the uh, ACM slogan on the back, the Expand Your World, and thinking about what it meant to expand my world. And I think it has less to do with knowing a lot of things about a lot of things and uh, more to do about what we bring into our own spheres of life and the connections we make between our different worlds. So with that in mind, I just want to talk to you about the development of my cultural awareness after returning from an off-campus study program. Um, so India was my first experience with a very foreign um, cultural location and cultural milieu. So I could talk about being faced with extreme poverty. I could talk about different restaurant etiquette or the many faux pas I committed. Um, but actually, I found myself relatively comfortable adapting to these differences. Um, it was made a lot easier by the fact that I was joined with another group of American students. So I didn't have to really search out um, people to identify with. I found that my more formative culture experience came when I returned to my college town in rural Iowa. I felt myself exuding this air of cultured, an, a cultured, educated, soon-to-be college graduate. I was staying in Iowa for the summer with my own apartment, paying for my own rent, cooking my own food, plunging my own toilet. I was convinced <laughs> this was it. I was an adult. <coughs> However, my job search did not go as planned. It began at the best restaurant in town and ended at the town dive bar. As my first rent payment got closer and closer, I hesitantly accepted the 40-hour position as a bartender at Rabbit's Tavern. Rabbit spelled with two T's for a reason still unknown. <laughs> <laughs> While there were various dive bars in town, in my small working class town, this was the diviest. Most patrons of Rabbit's uh, had problems with drug and, drugs and alcohol. They were unemployed and were high school dropouts. It was a very different environment from that of the prestigious liberal arts college that I was accustomed. As I came to find out later, rabbits referred to the other dive bars in town. There are seven, there are seven bars in my college town. Um, and rabbits referred to the other dive bars as the classy bars. <laughs> and I should have known that things were going to be difficult then. But I still retained this optimistic perspective that all people were essentially the same everywhere, deep down, right? So having little interaction with the town before bartending at Rabbits, I found that this experience was the most terrifying and <coughs> formative one for me. <clears throat> the longer I worked at Rabbits, the more I recognized the cultural experiences I was receiving from my customers. I had to continually ask myself, as my religious studies professors would be very happy to know, how do I work in an environment with people whose values are so foreign? How do I do this without imposing my own judgment and moral code? Many of these issues came up when I was in India, but it took a summer in my own country to recognize how difficult these things were actually to practice. In Rabbit's Tavern, I was on my own. I worked alone, I closed alone, I dealt with the difficulties alone. I had to hold all these things inside while recognizing my own privilege and education. When I entered Rabbit's, I felt I was enter entering a whole different world even more so than I think when I was in India. Here in a town that I had lived in for three years, I found myself reaching back to an experience in India for guidance and finding, finding common ground with people. I needed the help of an Indian experience to understand Americans of extreme difference. However, the limitations that I encountered in the face of difference, such as interacting with my host family or Indian professors, led me to a breadth of new possibilities and growth. In Rabbits also, the cultural restraints on my actions and even my voice actually opened me up to learning new things and meeting new people. Listening, however, proved very difficult when those speaking expressed racist or bigoted opinions and who shared them openly without shame. My job at Rabbits dictated that I not argue with every person by whom I was personally offended. <laughs> so I found myself biting my tongue often. I listened to people's life stories uninterrupted by my own criticism, and I got angry a lot, but forced myself to engage with their opinions, sincerely, I hope. 
One particular incident reminds me that no matter how alien a person seems, there's reward in the simple attempt for finding common ground. One night, swamped with work, I brought my homework to the bar. I laughed inwardly that this was probably the first and only book Rabbit's Tavern would ever see. <laughs> I was reading about archaeologists testing ancient North American tools on contemporary African elephants when an elderly truck driver sitting near me asked what I was studying. A little perturbed, I gave him the most basic synopsis possible. I recognized that while the reading was confusing to me, he had even less of an understanding of current archaeological methods. However, when I read a sentence out loud, trying to extract the meaning of the word culling, the same truck driver turned to me and gave me the definition. Culling animals meant reducing the size of the herd so that the healthier animals had a be better chance of survival. Not only did this short explanation clarify the sentence, but the article as a whole. I had assumed, without being aware of it, that because he didn't know anything about archaeology, he was dismissible. For the rest of the evening, he told me stories about working on a farm as a child, and I listened, trying to understand. In that moment, I recognized how dialogue between strangers can connect them across cultural divides. I wanted so badly to export cultural awareness to India and other exotic locations that I forgot the importance of recognizing cultural difference in my own world. By making the connection between my cultural experiences, I gave greater meaning to both and tested my assumptions. Thank you.